Hello, so in this vlog I want to discuss smartphone ranges and how there seems to be a slight change in the way manufacturers are looking at their range of phones. It would appear that in 2012 the key focus is actually slimming down the range of devices rather than having 10 or 12 devices in a range they're actually gradually reducing that down to have fewer and fewer devices and Sony and HTC are the best demonstrators of how that is starting to happen. So with Sony, they've now got three key devices in their range. The U, the P and the S. So there's three devices with clear differences, each targeting different sectors of the smartphone market for people with different uh, appeals in a smartphone. And HTC have done the same with the 1V, the 1S and the 1X. Now, yes, both manufacturers still do have a range of other devices that exist. So with uh, Sony or Sony Ericsson, they've got the Xperia Arc there and the Xperia Pro still, but they're gradually phasing out. And the principle applies to HTC as well. They're gradually uh, phasing out other devices. So we're th seeing things like the HTC 7 Pro Windows phone going. Uh, the Char-Char is no doubt going to go end of life uh, soon. We've seen the Wildfire S and the Desire S sort of now integrated into the uh, Desire C. So that's a bit of compression of the range. So they've got the one series and there's going to be just a couple outside that. So that's going to gradually reduce. And BlackBerry are the same now. We've got the, the Curve and the Bold family as the, the key um, components to their range. So the 9320 has uh, just been released and we'll gradually see the 8520 drop out and the 9300 will drop out as well and to be replaced by the 9320 and then we'll continue with the bold range of devices um, including the bold 9000 and the torch devices do exist but I think we'll see some of those drop off um, because manufacturers are realizing their ranges are getting complicated it's more cost and time for them to support all the different devices, whether it be just from software updates right through to accessories. There's a lot of effort that goes into that. And consumers um, and even the more tech-savvy customers can't see the key differences between the devices and there doesn't need to be all these differentiators um, between them. So having, let's say, a maximum of six or seven devices in a range is more than enough. Uh, and in some respects, the, the less the better because you can concentrate your marketing effort and explaining the devices and what they do with more ease and I think that's really important but what do you think? Do you think it um, is a bad sign that there's going to be less devices? Do you think it's a good sign? Uh, do you think it means that they'll actually bring uh, more devices actually over the course of the year but they'll just be families of devices so will Sony drop their um, Xperia UP and S sort of after the summer for um, a new range of Xperia's. I don't think so. I personally think it's going to carry on for a longer period of time. They can extend the length um, of the devices which which will work better for everyone. The big exception to this rule seems to be Samsung at the moment which has a wealth of devices especially in the Galaxy range. Um, I'm sure they will in time uh, relook at how they're uh, managing their smartphones but at the moment they've got the most devices out there and it can become very complicated even for someone who's involved in it on a daily basis. Uh, so I'd be interested to hear your thoughts but I think this could be an important year for smartphones and we'll see more manufacturers moving to the Apple sort of style of things with less uh, focus on bringing out new devices the whole time but bring out good devices that work and people really want. So until next time, thanks for watching.